So I'm going to show you how to disable Cortana on Windows 10. So the first thing you'll notice if you've tried to do this is if you go into add remove programs and then search for Cortana you notice it's not a program that you are able to delete from the system and that's because Microsoft don't want you to uninstall it. Likewise, if you try and disable Cortana by pressing Control Alt Delete and then selecting Task Manager and more details and then Cortana here, if you right click on it and end task, it will shut down briefly but then it will come back again. Again, that's because Microsoft don't want you to remove it. So I'm going to show you how you can disable it. So first thing I'm going to do is right click on the taskbar and I'm going to unselect show Cortana button. Right click on the taskbar again and go to the search menu and hidden to get rid of the Cortana features off the taskbar. Then we're going to do control alt delete and select task manager. Um, we'll select Cortana and we want to shut it down but we can't shut it down because we tried before and it came back. So I'm going to open up the uh, little arrow there, click on Cortana, right click on it and say open file location and we can see there the folder where Cortana is installed. What we want to do is rename that folder. I'm going to rename it by just putting dot old on the end of the folder. So I'm going to right click on it here and say rename. Press N to go to the end of the file. Put dot old and press return. But it's not going to work. I'm going to confirm that I want to do it, but it's not going to work because it says that the folder is open in another program because Cortana is still running. So I cancel that. So what we want to do is shut down Cortana from the task manager. And in the brief split second that it is shut down, we want to rename this folder. So how I'm going to do that, I'm going to open a notepad. We can use the search here when the Cortana search doesn't work. So I'll open a notepad by typing notepad in there press in return. I'm going to write a little batch file to rename the folder. So first I'm going to put a colon and type loop and then the file, the, uh, the command to rename a folder or file is ren for rename space and then I'm going to go to the Cortana in the task manager right click on it and say properties. The folder's located in the location here, C Windows System App, so I'm gonna copy that, Control and C to copy, and I'm gonna paste it there, Control and V to paste, put another backslash in, and then from the dialog here, I'm gonna take the name of the folder. I don't need that dialog anymore, so I can cancel that paste the name of the folder there and then put a space and paste the name that we want to rename it to so that again dot old press return to go to a new line and the third line of the batch file i'm going to say go to as one word and loop and the loop we've defined there so what this is going to do is it's going to loop through this program again and again trying to rename the folder to the folder name with old on the end. So I'm going to save it as, and I'm going to save it to the desktop, and I'm going to call it disable cortana.bat, which is BAT, which is short for batch file, and that's the file that we can run the commands on our system. So I can close that now, right click on our batch file, and run as administrator. Yes, we want to run it. 
and we can see we're getting an error which we can just about see which is saying the folder is in use by another process and that's because we're still running Cortana and we can see here that the folder still has its old name. If I now right click on Cortana here and end task it doesn't come back the folder renames to old and now we've got a new error saying the file the folder is not specified because it's gone so we can close that now and now if we reboot Cortana will be gone so that's how to get rid of Cortana in Windows 10 if uh, that's helped you then give the video a like and if you'd like more tech tips like this or if you want to learn to program in Java then subscribe to my channel so thanks for watching